Welcome back. Artists for Humanity is the biggest employer of teens and young adults in the city of Boston. More than 400 young people are hired to work on art and design projects for clients. As NBC's in Boston, Laura Melendez reports, with the help of mentors, many are crafting their own futures along the way. You're working on the butterflies? Yeah. I think you should just like chop it up just a bit more. Started here back in 2013 as one of the teens, but now I'm one of the full-time mentors here. This is coming along well. You can have a creative job in an industry that's not traditionally considered a creative industry. We're focused on making sure that everybody has equal opportunity and access to those pathways. 90% of the workers here identify as teens of color. About 88% come from low-income communities. Here, they design for core corporate clients and nonprofit partners. But you don't have to be an artist to be here. There could also be folks who are really just learning professional skills for the first time because we're often a teen's first job. Several studios at this South Boston headquarters are tech driven with a focus on coding, animation and graphic design. I've always been an artist. It's in my DNA. When I walked in the first day, there was loud music. And I remember a lot of teenagers brainstorming new ideas and I was in love. That experience Experience and a college degree helped Fabio Lalara get a job as an interior designer with MDS Architects. Doing art my whole life, since I was like five, I never thought that I could sell a painting or even have an art career. So being able to have that ability and being exposed to that here was life changing. 16 years ago, he inked his first tattoo. He opened and owns Grand Flourish, a custom tattoo shop in Brockton. For someone to buy a painting from you or a piece of art, but they want to wear it on their bodies for the rest of their lives. And I found that as an artist, it was like a really high honor. Lauren Melendez, NBC10 Boston.